just to better demonstrate our functionality, we're going to set up one more department and one more operator. So let's go into operators here and let's set a new one up. And we're going to call this one our block support. Remember, you can set up one of these for each of your websites or however you want to do it, each of your product lines, etc. Okay, here whether they're going to be an administrator, in this case they're not going to be an administrator. And then autosave transcripts, we've been through this before. So let's add. Okay, so we have a new ad operator. Now we're going to go and add a second department and we're just going to call this one blog. And we'll give it a different order here. The email information. Now we can use the same email address for all of these or we could set up a different email address for each one. I'm just going to use the same information we did before. I could change it if I wanted to set up different email addresses for outgoing for every department but I'm just going to use one it's up to you how you do it so let's add okay now we need to go to assignments and what we want to do is assign the operator the new operator which is blogman to the new department now down here for our blog we want to assign blogman okay so if I get it Okay, and there it is. Okay, now you notice over on the left here, generate code. This is where we get the code for our website. So what we need to do is pick the department we want to generate the code for. Okay, here we have enabled co-browse and co-forms on the page. What this does is it allows you to initiate a chat with the user without them asking for one first. I'm just going to leave that off. So we'll generate the code. Now all we have to do is put this code on our site where we want the help window to appear. Okay, so let's copy. And then I'm going to go over to my site and put it on there. Now you'll also notice that there are different types of code. This is the image code, but we also have text code, HTML only code, and invisible code. Okay, so over to our website now. Okay, so I just have a test blog I set up here so we'll just put it on here let's log in okay so we'll just go to the main page here go to all pages and then on sample page we'll just put it on here so all we have to do is be in HTML mode and then you just paste the code wherever it is you want it. I'm just gonna put it right at the bottom I'll paste it in there and then we'll update Okay, so let's view the page now. Okay, and you see down here that here's our live help. Okay, and it says offline. That's because we haven't signed in to our blog support yet. So let's go over here. Let's log out. And now we're going to log in as our blog support. Okay, so here is the interface when a uh, help desk personnel logs in. Okay, so we have our CAN messages and we can set these at the admin level as well. Okay, so you can add any custom ones you want in here. We have transcripts. Okay, we, these are the same as what we see in admin, but these are for our personal information and modules. Okay, so let's go to live help now. Now this we need to log into Live Help here. So we go online. Okay, now when we go back to our blog here, let's give this a refresh. And now you'll see that it says Live Help is online. Okay, so they can click on here now and they get a help window and can request chat. Okay, now what we need to do is give it a check a nickname here it doesn't matter what you say here okay and then request chat now let's go back to the admin side 
and look at our live help here. Okay, now up here we see our chat request, so we accept. Okay, and here's our chat window. Okay, so now I can chat with the person on the other end. So we can just send anything you want in here. So how can I help you? Now well, this is where we can set up our canned messages if we want. And use those. And then send. Okay, so here's what they sent back to me. So you just have a conversation like this. Now down here you see that if we had set up canned messages, we can pick from our canned messages and put them in up here. We can also send a URL if we want. So we can send an email in there as well. Okay, so that's how you chat back and forth. Okay, so that's really all there is to it up here. You can turn your sounds on and off. You can focus the window. You can make the text bigger. And this is the time that you've been in chat. Okay, and then when you want to end the chat, you can just click End Chat here. And it, it's done. Okay, so that's how you use it. Now here's what it looks like on the other computer when somebody's on the chatting side or on the help request side. Okay, so here's the chat window on the other computer, and this was when we asked how he'd help them, and this was when they answered us back. Okay, and then when we sent the email request, they got a box like this, they can send us the email. And the same with the URL, it was above here. If we, they can send us the URL we requested. And then down here, they can rate us, so they can give us a rating and some remarks. Okay, so back to this side now, let's just go off. Now, if we go over to transcripts, here are the transcripts of what we've done. So we can click on any of them here. Click on the most recent one. And here is what happened. Okay, there is our, our chat there. Okay, so that's how you use the Help Center chat system.